Hello friends, and welcome to another episode of Exploring Middle-Earth. So in today's episode we'll be talking about the great eagles of Middle-Earth. Now these eagles were proud, gigantic creatures, and they were servants of the Lord of the Valor, Manwe. Thus, they weren't like the eagles that we see today in our world. Anyway, these great eagles have helped Gandalf and others during their time of need. For example, they rescued Gandalf from Mortank when he was kidnapped by Saruman. And even after his battle with the Balrog, they rescued Gandalf from the mountaintop. We also see them helping the forces of good, twice in fact. First in The Hobbit, during the Battle of the Five Armies, and in The Lord of the Rings, at the Battle of the Black Gate. So if these eagles were so strong and so helpful, why didn't they just fly into Mordor and drop the ring into Mount Doom? So first off, the eagles were proud creatures, and they weren't simply the air transport service of Middle-earth. They did as they please and as they saw fit, and they didn't bend to the whim of others. However, considering the importance of the quest of the ring, I feel confident in saying that the great eagles would have been up for helping the Fellowship, since their world was also at stake. Thus, I don't think that this is the reason for them not helping, but it is one that people sometimes bring up, so I thought I should mention it and cover it. Now, what I think the real issue was, was that Mordor wouldn't have been the same way we see it in the books and the films. Cause during both of these, the Black Gate is besieged by the forces of the West, which are led by Aragorn, and Sauron had moved his forces to the Black Gate, thus emptying Mordor. This was all to make it easier for Frodo and Sam to move through Mordor without getting caught or seen, thus increasing the chance of success for the quest. Now if the quest of the ring and Frodo's journey never happened, Aragorn would never have gone to the Black Gate, and thus Mordor would still be filled with orcs and the flying Nazgul. So let's say now that in a different world, during the Council of Elrond the forces of Good had decided to send eagles to Mordor with the ring. What would have happened if they decided on this? So first off, I believe that on entering Mordor, the eagles would surely have been spotted either by Sauron, the Eye, his orcs, or the Nazgul, and Sauron would have sent his Nazgul on Felbis to attack the eagles. In the battle, the eagles would most likely have been slain, and the ring would have been lost and recovered by Sauron. It would thus have been crazy for the forces of good to risk doing that. It was a very stupid, simple plan with no real backup, it would just have relied on luck, and I don't think the odds were good enough to risk giving Sauron his most powerful weapon back. Finally, the last reason which I think is as valid as the others, is that if this plan had occurred and had been successful, the films and books would have sucked quite a bit and would have really missed out on some really epic, cool scenes and story. So I personally am really glad <laughs> this wasn't even considered. Anyway, this wraps up the video. If you disagree with me or agree with me or just want to give your own feedback, please leave a comment below. I enjoy seeing them. And if you enjoyed the video and got something out of it, leave a like and subscribe. I hope to see you all in my next video, where together we can once again explore the wonderful world and lore of Middle-earth.